Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. people. I'm Car Kid. You're watching a car review, and this is called Y63, the Nissan Patrol 2025. <laughs> Nissan unveiled this Nissan Patrol on 3rd September 2024 in Abu Dhabi, and this Nissan Patrol will go on sale by 1st November 2024 in Middle East. Nissan claims that this thing is completely changed from exterior and interior after 14 long years and it's more better and more larger than the previous old version. So today we are going to review it. So I have borrowed this Nissan Patrol 2025 from Alvan Global Cars. Big car collectors and they are the first one to bring this one in the market. If you want the new Nissan Patrol 2025, jump to all one uh, global cars, say my name and get a reasonable discount. So talking about the trim levels in Nissan Patrol 2025, you got different trim levels. You got SE, SE T2, the Type 2, SE Titanium and SE Platinum City, this one, this is the top of the range. So let's talk about the heart of the Nissan Patrol 2025. You don't have any more V8 in the Nissan Patrol. You have two new engines in the Nissan Patrol 2025. One is the 3.5 liters twin turbocharged V6, this one producing 425 horsepower, 25 horsepower more than the previous V8 version. And you have the second engine that is 3.8 liters, naturally aspirated engine producing 316 horsepower. So the two engines are more fuel efficient engines in this Nissan Patrol. The turbocharged one is 25% more fuel efficient than the previous version and the naturally aspirated version is 10% more fuel efficient than the older version. So it's very, very nice. Producing 425 horsepower, 700 Newton meters of torque and 0 to 100 in 7 to 8 seconds with the 9 speed automatic transmission. So let's talk the price of the Nissan Patrol 2025. It starts at $65,300. It can jump up to $103,500. In UAE, the price starts at 239,900 UAE dirhams. It can jump up to 317,000 900 UAE dirhams. The price may differ from showroom to showroom, dealership to dealership and country to country depending on promotions, packages and all other things. Have a look at the dashing bold and elegant look from the front of the Nissan Patrol. Look at these C-shaped lights. Look at one and two and this grille have a look at the trim chrome trim it puzzles with the light and it shows that the light continues from left to right but this is not the light this is a chrome trim the big face of the nissan patrol and look at this bar so the style from the lights to c-shaped lights it continues with this bar till the right light and this bar came from the second generation of the petrol the uh, uh, y60 series big big grill with the polished black and look at the trim the sensors the vents and all that look at the lines on the hood of the nissan patrol it looks really nice it looks really muscular so let's talk the side of the nissan patrol 2025 let's have a look at the fender first of all it's a completely new fender with some new lines have a look at the c-shaped trim came from the headlamps here and the fender ends up higher and the door starts a little lower. Look at the lines of the door. V60, the turbocharged engine. The Nissan Patrol is coming with the dual color now. It's the top black and the color you can choose. The folding mirrors, look at the lights. You have the puddle lamps. When you approach the car or you unlock the car, it will project a light and it will share the logo with you. Nissan since 1951. Great. Have a look at the lines in the door. It's not straight. It's going towards right and coming towards left and a roundish line to end up the door in the bottom. Look at these lines and look at the door lines. Let me tell you one thing. This is pillar A, pillar B and pillar C. The D pillar is kicked up from here and it's written petrol at the top of the D pillar to celebrate the name petrol with pride. So the back of the Nissan Patrol 2025 have a look at totally new shape. Do you guys think this Nissan Patrol is similar to some car? 
Okay, so this is the new shape of the Nissan Patrol, the C-shaped lights brought up from the uh, headlamps at the front. Look at the turn signals and these both lights are connected with the light bar in the center and a Nissan logo and big petrol written in the black trim. A nice spoiler over here, you can open the tailgate like that with the big cargo area here you have the off-road kit given uh, to you from Nissan itself you have buttons here to fold these third row seats for larger cargo area and you have the suspension buttons as well this Nissan Patrol is equipped with the improved intelligent suspension along with the air suspension itself and it works really good when you drive the car in different terrains and it helps you to lower and raise the car with the help of those buttons so how the improved intelligent suspension alongside with the air suspension works let me show you guys you have buttons over here when you press the button so the car is lowering you can see it's lowering itself and it's very helpful you have something uh, like a cargo or something to put inside so and also you have a compressor over here you can just start the compressor uh, just select the psi what you want to inflate in your tire and you can start it like that and it will sound something like that i will show you like that you can start and stop it so like that you can start and stop the compressor over here given built in in the Nissan Patrol 2025. That's how you close the tailgate of the Nissan Patrol. Click it, it will close like that. A new bumper with the new tow hitch here with some reflector, sensor and platinum written at the back of this amazing beautiful Nissan Patrol. Bismillah Rahman Rahim's so interior of the new Nissan Patrol. It's totally changed interior, completely different design, completely new a dashboard with one big 28.6 inch screen and what it contains. Let me sit inside. This is the key of the Nissan Patrol and have a look at the dashboard. Everything is changed. So this is the start stop button, the remote, press the brake. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And look at some of the graphics here in the screen. It's showing you Nissan and some of the very, very nice graphics and it's showing Nissan intelligent mobility. So this big screen have two screens in it, 14.3 inches, 14.3 inches, totally is 28.6 inches. No more old school gauge cluster. You have a new digital gauge cluster over here and you got some buttons over here. You can control this uh, gauge cluster with the help of these buttons uh, you can go to different settings driver assistance and you have a heads up display in this new nissan patrol 2025 eco settings tire pressure and all that you have different vehicle settings also and uh, you can scroll left and right for some different little tiny details inside the gauge cluster look at this thing look this is the driver assistance the blind spot forward and lane off so this nissan patrol is equipped with the pro pilot that the the it will make sure that it's taking care of the steering braking acceleration and everything it's called the adoptive cruise control so uh, the car will make sure that you are in lane and uh, it has the emergency braking system at the back also if you reverse the car if there is something so it will break automatically then you have a navigation here you can uh, change the screen to navigation and some tiny details over here so look at the steering this is totally new steering uh, new design of the steering and very nice looking steering uh, with some new buttons on the steering and i love it uh, moving on to the infotainment screen this is the infotainment screen and it's very very responsive you can see because these kind of screens you are not expecting from toyota and Nissan but now they are improving I love it and go on to the uh, infotainment screen this is the home button click on and you can use multi functions in this screen and uh, this is the temperature uh, the navigation all the screen will turn into navigation this car is equipped hey, this car is equipped with the Apple CarPlay uh, and Android Auto uh, you can go into uh, the climate control settings in the screen and also you have the climate control settings over here this is very nice because it's very easy to use you don't have to go into the screen and do the climate control settings then you have the applications you can go into applications the interior lighting gps setting and all that settings you have in the nissan patrol and have a look at the dashboard with the dual trim dual color red and gray 
with the stitching on it and very nice looking. Then you have the center view mirror, back view mirror. You can convert into a screen and you can convert into a mirror. So you have two, three, four, five screens in it. Then we come on to the center console. This is the lifted center console. The old center console was down with a gear lever here. This is the floating center console. Look at my hand here. And you have some of the piano buttons over here. Look at these buttons. And with the E-shifter, there's no gear lever. It's E-shifter, very, very easy to use, quick uh, responding. For example, this is the parking. Now I have to convert it into reverse, neutral, and drive position very easy to use so these are the climate control settings this is the radio stereo settings and when you go into the camera you have the hoodless nissan patrol with you so the nissan patrol is equipped with the under body camera if you go to any off-road terrain so look at this thing there is no body on the tires you can look uh, whatever is coming ahead of this nissan patrol and you can cruise easily to any terrain so these buttons are for the four wheel drive settings over here this button over here is uh, drive modes so this nissan patrol have different modes for example you scroll here it's rock sand mud standard eco and sport nothing change in the graphics here but yes maybe some of the settings is changing in this nissan patrol so you have different modes rock and cruise in whatever mode you want to okay then you have this button it's a suspension air suspension click on it the car will raise and click on it again the car will lower down you have the wireless charging option here two uh, type c holder two type c ports two cup holders this is the cool box over here and a big petrol written in the center of this center console so very nice looking overall dashboard screen steering and all the things here I love it. Coming on to the back seats of the Nissan Patrol, the same quality seats, same stitching at the back as well. You got two screens at the back for the platinum version. And let's peel this off and let me show you some things here. You don't have anything much to do uh, in the back screen. You can only uh, change the, you can only set the brightness and uh, you can connect the USB, the HDMI cable and everything and you can go into the settings and change the language, Bluetooth, Bluetooth device setting and all that. So there is nothing much to do in uh, this screen at the back. You have a climate control screen over here. You can control the climate and some of the C ports and 12 volt port. And you have a panoramic glass roof with the light touch here. And it's amazing. The AC vent here. And also you have two cup holders in the center of both the seats. You can also just fold the seats and jump into the third row because this is the eight-seater Nissan Patrol. So we are into the third row of the Nissan Patrol 2025 and it's okay, like it's not that spacious. Uh, the legroom is not that much because see, this is the seat. I will just unfold it and you don't have much space. You don't have much space uh, for your legs, but yes, uh, to sit, it's okay so you have buttons also to fold these seats for larger cargo area you have buttons here look you can press it and it will fold like that and you have buttons also in uh, the back side the trunk area here so you can just fold these seats for the larger cargo area you have air vents and lights over here and uh, you can press again to unfold the seat so you have two cup holders at the left two cup holders at the right and a c port for your phone to charge so bismillah we are inside the new nissan patrol 2025 and let's go for a drive because this uh, nissan patrol 2025 doesn't have the v8 power engine but it's a more powerful more elegant more nice engine than before so let's try because this is the turbo charge, twin turbo charge V6 engine producing 425 horsepower. And this Nissan Patrol is equipped with the new uh, suspension setting. So it's reacting in the different terrains according to the terrain need. For example, if you are in the off-road, this car will detect and it has the underbody camera. It will detect all the terrains and it can uh, react according to that terrain so this is a very nice thing and the new thing in the nissan patrol is the underbody camera so the hoodless camera you can say that 
So uh, overall, the total interior is completely new. The exterior is completely new with amazing seats. So the Nissan, new, this Nissan Patrol 2025 is equipped with the Pro Pilot, so it can take over the steering, the brake, accelerating, everything. But the Nissan Patrol assures that your car is in the lane. It's equipped with the rear emergency braking system. So it's equipped with the biometric cooling technology, so it's can, it can check the uh, passenger's body temperature through infrared and maintain the cabin temperature according to that that's very nice it's totally new design for everything i have the older version of the nissan patrol 2022 and 2023 but they are like old school so this is something very nice if you are thinking about an suv the nissan says that you why you should consider the nissan patrol 2025 nissan gives you different reasons one reason is it looks good it looks muscular it looks dashing and bold Number two reason is it feels good. So Nissan say that the interior is the first class feeling interior. And as you can see, it's very impressive. And the third thing which Nissan say that it drives good. So yes, you have power, 425 horsepower, twin turbocharged, powerful engine than the previous version. So if you are thinking about an SUV, you should consider Nissan Patrol 2025.